uh, anticoagulant drugs. We mentioned uh, the heparin or the anticoagulant uh, drug we mentioned in the previous slides. Heparin is parenteral injectable injectable anticoagulant drug uh, in activation of the uh, factor two and factor ten in order to prevent uh, venous thrombosis or treatment uh, venous thrombosis. We have another uh, anticoagulant called warfarin. Warfarin is completely different from heparin because it is oral tablet. Uh, decrease the senses of the clotting factor, especially uh, vitamin K dependent uh, factor, 2, 7, 9, 10. Prevent also venous thrombosis and also use in the treatment. Uh, aspirin is antiplatelet, antiplatelet uh, drugs. So decrease the platelet aggregation, prevent uh, arterial thrombosis. The drug mainly used for arterial thrombosis. Uh, thrombolytic drugs like uh, streptokinase. Streptokinase, we mentioned before, your kinase, which is used for stimulation of fibrinolysis. Streptokinase is similar to your kinase uh, in the breakdown of thrombi or fibrin, so it will lead to fibrinolysis. Screening tests for platelet disorders, platelet count, we mentioned platelet count, the normal range from 150 to 400,000. Uh, platelet count, we can check platelet count uh, by routine blood smear, routine blood smear, in order to uh, check the count. And we can check the function of the platelet, platelet function by test called bleeding uh, time. Uh, bleeding time is a very simple test. We use uh, filter paper in order to uh, dry the blood spot from the thumb or the finger every 15 seconds and finally we collect the time of the uh, stopping of the bleeding from the finger this is the bleeding time the normal range is four to seven minutes in the normal places and in normal blood vessels but it will be prolonged if there is a abnormal platelet thrombocytopenia Decrease in the count, abnormal in the function, thrombothenia, or vascular defect. Also in the vascular defect will be prolongation of the uh, bleeding time. Uh, another specific test for the platelet function is the platelet uh, aggregation studies to uh, study the adhesion and the aggregation and to uh, diagnose Bernard Sorier syndrome, Glanzmann disease. Uh, aggregation studies uh, uh, will be done uh, in the aggregometer automated it is now automated and you can uh, check the report after the end of the test and to check the defect where is the defect and to diagnose the disease a screening test for coagulation pathway we have two uh, important tests bt and btt uh, the bt is used for the uh, check the extrinsic pathway and the btt for the intrinsic pathway so intrinsic pathway, BTT, extrinsic uh, pathway, BT. Both of this depend on the uh, plasma, adding a reagent to the plasma and detect the time for formation of the clot by detector on the instrument. It is also automated now. Before it was manual, detection of clot manual by seeing the first time of formation of the clot. So when detect the clot, this is the time of the BT like 12 seconds or the BTT 25 to 39 seconds, uh, the start of the clot. But now we have uh, uh, an instrument, so it is automated and the instrument can detect the clot very easily by the detector. Uh, BT and BTT used for check of the uh, busways, intrinsic and extrinsic busway, and also used for checking of the uh, anticoagulant drug as we will mention in the next slides.